Hello there, good to see you again. This is Community Watch on Metro TV with me, Gabriel Prince Niobodai Atopra Atunam Tobo Ashon Kwao And today, I'm coming your way from the Tema Metropolis. I am on the premises of the Tema Metropolitan Assembly. So behind me is the office complex of the Assembly. In today's edition, we are focusing our attention on the Temama here, Anglican Basic School, where a blog there has been in a deplorable state for quite some time now. The Metropolitan Assembly is attending to it, addressing the issue, but the regional minister has visited in his quest to ensure that greater Accra works. He believes that the project should have been completed earlier to ensure that the school pupils have a convenient place to study. We shall hear from the regional minister as he engages the Metropolitan Chief Executive on the way forward for the school. Before then, let's go back a bit to then have a better appreciation of what the problem really is or was at the time Metro TV visited initially. On the normal day when you are teaching, the children will not concentrate. But the roofing will be flipping and just creating and making noise. And when you go into one of the class, class three, right inside the class, the roofing is removed. So the sun shines directly on the children, class one and class three. The MC was here July 2019. The MC? On the day the MC came, it has rained. Uh, when the day he came, it has rained. And the whole classroom was flooded. The roofings were torn apart, flying over. He was here and he took pictures and pasted it on his Facebook wall. July 2019. I went for the pictures and I tagged him again. Mm. And we are in 2021. And he came here in 2019. So it's about two years. So I don't know, for two years now, TMA came, climbed the building and measured. They measured all the roofing. They came here and took measurement of all the roofing. That was last year. So about one year now. It's still not. The MP also came here of Coastal Development Authority. Is it Ahmed? Mm -hmm. They also came that they are coming to build. Also, nothing happened. They went and nothing happened. This is, of course, a very bad uh, situation which I came and met uh, barely a year, uh, two years ago. Barely two years ago. And uh, since my arrival, since my arrival, we have taken uh, a lot of steps to see how best we can uh, fix the problem. What's the nature of the problem? Could you uh, paint a clearer picture for our audience and also the appropriate authorities to appreciate this issue? The roofing, as we can see, the roofing is totally off. That at the end of the day, all necessary effort to get the politicians, uh, individual to come on board, education to come on board. All these things are through filter. What have you done about this situation? I've tried my best, as you know, the the authorities are aware. You, you, you are, the authorities are aware, but you are part of the authority. Yes, please. Beyond the fact that you are the assemblyman, you are also part of the education committee or subcommittee. Yeah. So why haven't you addressed this issue, even though it's come to your attention? And even though you have visited a site and seen it, over a period of time now. Yeah, what we know, what I know from the right source is that coastal developers are coming around to give us a new building. But what we are also, uh, what personally I'm, I'm proposing out there is that we have a whole lot of companies around. We are pleading to them that they should also come to our aid and then help us to re-roof uh, this building. So in case if they wanted to build the new one that we know, that they said they are coming to build l shape building here, the coastal developers have assured us that they will come. We don't know as at when they are coming. And now our children also need to come to school. So for me, I'll just take this opportunity to tell the organization and then companies around Tema, this is the Abbott City that we claim. We have Gapua there, that we know this is nothing to them. We have have Unilever there that we know not uh, this is nothing to them and then we have a whole lot of companies around uh, uh, B5 plus and then we have a whole uh, roofing companies around that I cannot even mention their names but we are pleading to them that they should also come to our aid so that they will help us really roof this one before the coastal developers also come in. The regional minister has visited in his quest to ensure that the school pupils have a convenient place to study. We shall hear from 
the regional minister as he engages the Metropolitan Chief Executive on the way forward for the school. Contemplating whether we should uh, pull the building down and start all over. So we, we invited uh, the technical team for structure integrity and they said um, we can reno renovate it and that is what we are doing. So, so forgive me, but um, couldn't you have done the structure integrity and everything before taking off the roof? Because I'm told that. Uh, School children are not able to learn here. Some even sit in the sun for the past one year, I'm told. Not six months. I'm, I understand this took place as early as June last year. And is that a reason for that? Regent Minister, that, that is not correct. Okay. So it's six months. Yes. And six months, I'm saying that. Couldn't your where, engineer, where are you? So come and explain to me. I want to understand why you took up the roof of the children for six months. Uh, like I said. No, I, I thought he's the engineer. So tell us something. I think my boss has explained. The, what what the, did you say? I'm saying that my boss. Yes, honorable. Yes, sir. I regret that statement. Um, honorable, we we when we realized that the roof has gone so bad, there was so much bruhaha and issues on it. So we decided that we'll come and. Well, well, the yes, we, we, we realized that the roof was so bad, so we needed to actually take the roof off. But when we came, we wanted to, when the, the building actually was so bad that we wanted to actually put everything down. But looking at our budget constraints, we decided that we would rather take the roof off and maintain it for a while, whilst we make provision to provide them a new structure somewhere. So that's what that's the agreement we all came together so on. Let's so let's do this one by one. So, yes. You noticed that the roofing was not good. Yes. Sir. The building you were not sure as yes. to whether you should leave it or pull it down. Yes. Sir. So after taking off the roof, yes. then you decide to now do structural integrity. Is that no, right? No, sir. I'm, so I'm, so I'm, try I'm and saying, let me understand yes, it. Yes, I'm saying that when we came here the first time, we had the information that the building was bad. So when we came and we did the structural integrity, we realized that we can maintain it and rather take the roof off and maintain okay, so it. Yeah, yeah. When did you do the structural integrity? Last, somewhere early last, last no, this, this year, this year. This year? January, yes, sir. Uh, and since then, what has stopped you from roofing for the children to go to school? What stopped you? Honorable Minister, this, this is beyond me because my director is also here. I think the chief nice we, explain. We, we have... We have an alternative uh, space for the children. We have alternative space for the children to stay whilst we, we think so of what, what to do. It's, it's behind the... Can we see? Yeah. Okay. Let's look at the alternatives. Averagely, we're occupying each class. Each class is between the 45 and 55, I think. And are you sure that you'll be able to accommodate 45 students in each of these classrooms? No, that is why we decided to divide them into two and uh, uh, run money and afternoon shift. Divide the children yes. at this age into two? To do, to do money and afternoon shift. Although How long are these happening for? Uh, just from the time when we moved them from here six months ago. So why is it that you are now roofing after six months? What has changed? No, 
we are still in the planning process and we, we, it's a job that we need to do. So materials and everything is ready. So the roofing has been off. Yes. And for six months, nothing has been done. But now you are doing. What, what caused the delay and what has changed? Mr. You know the assembly processes. We just don't move into things. Okay. We plan. And um, this is the time we need to come back to come and do all this. How soon do you intend to complete this? Um, we are targeting by Thursday. We'll finish with painting. And maybe by Friday, Saturday, we... When, when did you start the work? The engineers came here on Wednesday. After the story broke out? After the story broke out, the engineers came? No, we are always here. No, we don't I'm know not, when they came to do the story. I'm not and what is there, whatever down. is behind. We, we, we are always here, Minister. We are always here planning what we have to do. It's not about any story. It is not about any story. We are always here planning what to do. And I can confidently say that within the whole week, our engineers are coming here because we are even discussing this at the point when we realize there is a little fun now to, 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 to come to site. That was two weeks ago. So there, there's not issue of any news broken and that is why we are working. So shall we go back since you've decided to... Uh, <laughs> this happened six months ago. And my question is that you are always on site. So in the last six months, what is it that hindered the roofing of this classroom? That's all. Is it that uh, you were not ready, assembly were not ready, and now you are ready? That's all I want to know. Finish. I mean, there's no need to. Honorable okay. okay. Minister, you know the processes already. We just, just move in doing things. Okay. We have to um, go through the various stages in getting projects executed. No so that is what, why, what we, so we are, we, we are doing. We are good to go. And by Thursday, it should be ready. By Thursday, painting should be ready. We want to do some landscaping since we are in the period of planting trees so that formerly there were trees all over, all the trees are gone and we need to replace them. Oh. So after, after Thursday, we'll do some uh, 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 landscaping and see how best we can uh, plant the trees again before we move the children back. So, so they are going to have their furniture and everything back? Everything. I even have a standby furniture for them in assembly, new ones. Okay. So we we'll see how we are going to supplement it with the So these kids have been running shifts, is it? Yes. What are their ages? For, for, for now, class one to class is military. And they run shifts from what time to what time? So the children between one and six, they come seven in the morning to 12. to 12. And then some come at 12 to four. To four. And, and, that, and, and it's, it's also good considering the COVID-19 issues in the system mm. in order to get them get enough space be, between them. Okay. That's why they are running. So I think apart from we um, stopping the shift system mm. and because of this situation which we found ourselves in, we have come back to it. I think if you consider the protocols, the COVID-19 issues, I think it's in order. It's better for them to come shift before um, it's better for them to come shift other than putting them together to um, struggle with COVID issues. We, 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 uh, we, we saw some footage fly on social media. Uh, more or less like an SOS call that uh, children around this part of the area are having challenges sitting in the classroom to actually learn. And we thought that, well, it is only proper for us to come and ascertain the situation at first hand for ourselves. So we're here this morning, and uh, as you can see, we've engaged the MC. He's also explained to us reasons why uh, there was a delay in roofing the, the classroom, which uh, hitherto they thought they could do the structural integrity. Now the structural integrity has been done. So they have the green light to, uh, as it were, do the roofing for them. So we've been assured that uh, in the next two weeks, the work will be completed and the children can come back to school uh, and learn in a, in a very conducive uh, environment, yes. 
Well, these are children between the ages of one and six, we've been told. But the MC has made alternative arrangements for them at the back there. And that's where we want to look at. So, um, uh, we are hoping, as, uh, as we said, that in two weeks' time, this place will be ready. The children can be brought back. And then probably that side can even see another face lifting. So that uh, because of the COVID protocols, they try and then balance the, the number of uh, as it were, children in the classroom. We realized the roofing was very, is in a very bad shape. So the engineers came on board to remove all the roofings. And you know, removing it at a point we were contemplating whether we should pull the whole structure down so that we look for money to do new one. And looking at our, our finances, we would rather invite the technical team to come and look at the building once again. Whether if, if the building can even save us up to a, a, a year or more until we mobilize funds to put up um, a very good building for them. So when the report came around April, um, we realized we can still do something about this old one for some time. And as you can see, that is what um, we, are, we, are, we are doing. We are doing. We have mobilized some funds and we think it is time. We, we are not doing this because there is a, a, a video going on social media. Our technical teams are always here, but sometimes you know how some people can be funny. We don't wait for anybody to come and direct it what we should do. We are working. We are an assembly and we are always on point and we believe we'll get it completed. The minister has already also advised that the, where we are keeping the children now, we should also look at it so that it can uh, complement uh, this one when we finish. Well, next time when you come here after two weeks, you'll see the changes. Oh, I, th I think we are on course. Don't you think there's a cause of concern? Having seen six months, almost six months, this happened. Yes, uh, yes, to the, to, the, to, the, to the high of the ordinary Ghanaian, you, you, have, you have the right to ask questions. But the issue is, in assemblies, we just don't go into projects. There's a lot that needs to be done. Because tomorrow, the same media will come back to ask questions about whether due processes or procedures were followed. How much do you think I cannot uh, give you the figures. That maybe at another forum when we meet, I can provide the figures. I am Reverend Father Rebondo Teto Trema. I'm the parish priest of uh, St. Mary Anglican Church and then also the local manager of uh, the Anglican schools. Of course, um, I made a complaint through the various uh, media. And today, by the grace of God, as you have all come to witness for yourselves, also with the attendance of uh, the Greater Crown Regional Minister, uh, work, of course, is in progress. And for me, I am really happy that uh, at the end of the day, our cry has been heard. And therefore, we strongly believe that uh, the stipulated time that they have given um, it will really, 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 really meet that point so that the children can come back uh, wholeheartedly to continue with their studies. All right, and also, when did this situation begin? When, when did they actually, the actually the, the situation has been there since 2011. January, I took the first step by uh, having a chat with uh, uh, the MCE who promised by then that uh, something will be done. So from January to uh, uh, this very month, that is six months down the line, nothing by then uh, 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 happened. And the wood and then uh, the face board, the facial board, everything uh, 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 in a very uh, uh, deplorable state. And uh, uh, the place wasn't conducive at all for, 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 for studies. We are now with the Tema Mayor, the Metropolitan Chief Executive for the Tema Metropolis, Honorable Felix Ni Ananla. You've watched how the visit of the minister and the interaction that uh, happened between him and the Metropolitan Chief Executive, that's the Tema Mayor, turned out to be. The Metropolitan Chief Executive, the Tema Mayor, mentioned that 
on Thursday, painting will be done or by Thursday, and then the roofing would also follow. Let's engage the mayor to know how this uh, has been. But also, more importantly, we understand that the Metropolitan Assembly has a mega plan for the entire school. So Chief would as well be sharing highlights of this mega plan with us. Honorable, welcome to Metro TV's Community Watch. Thank you for coming, Obodai. Before I answer your question, I would like to clar clarify something. When the regional minister visited, in our interaction with the media, there is this thing that I said, and people misconstrue it, that I said I don't take instructions from the regional minister, and I know what to do, or the assembly know what to do at what point in time. I want to clarify that that issue is not meant to disrespect the minister, but it's the issue that I was directing it to the social media um, guys who want to tarnish the image of the assembly and myself, that we are not waiting for them and we know what we have to do at what point in time. So um, uh, I'm not targeting the regional minister. He's my regional minister. I respect him and I will continue to respect him since I'm going to work under him. The Temanglican School, earlier you mentioned during your interaction with the minister that you've done a lot and men were always on site. You also mentioned that the painting will be done and as well the roofing will be done, an assurance you gave to the minister. We've been to the grounds. What can you tell us about this, Honourable? Yes, we promise the public that by Thursday, painting will be done. But as of now, the paint, the number of gallons that we need is ready. But we have not started because um, the masons have still not finished their job. They gave us up to Wednesday to, to finish their job. As we are talking now, they are still doing pockets of them. And I don't want to push them. After all, at the end of the day, we need a quality job to be done. So we have value for money. Did they tell you when they were going to finish up or the timeline? Did they brief you before you mentioned that to the minister that it was going to be done by Thursday? We, we agree that we need to finish that thing because taking the children back to their um, classroom is important to the metro. And we agree that we should finish by Wednesday. But if you go there now, there are some pockets of uh, cement work to do. That's why I said, although we have made it known to the public that by Thursday will be done, the masons are still working. And we want them to finish their job before we start the painting. Although it is late, I believe um, people in Tema and Ghanaians want a quality job. So we should give the masons some time to finish their job. Okay, but where does the roofing also come in, which is a core part of the project? The, the, the roofing at the moment, the main six classroom is finished. We are looking at the other extension um, where the, um, the KG and other places are. We are putting that one two together as a package and extend it a little bit so that the spaces over there will be convenient for them. But for now, after the missing work, like we said, painting will start and they will come back to their classrooms while we look at the other ones and finish it and make it complete for all of them. Okay, so at least there is progress from what the mayor or metropolitan chief executive has mentioned. You mentioned that they will be coming back but one uh, would be wondering or wishing to know when should we expect the pupils back into their classroom? We, we have agreed with the school authority, including the, the Reverend Minister, that for we to um, have a good job done for the children and for the community, uh, we have given ourselves up to the first week of July, that we are sure we are bringing the children back to their classroom. At that point, we are sure everything will be done. Even some aspects of the job that we didn't consider earlier, the Reverend Minister have um, um, 
raise an alarm that he think we need to do some um, silly to uh, protect the children from the direct sign on the roof so that so all this thing is going to be considered and see how best we'll get everything. Honorable, are you saying this out of certainty so that maybe in a month's time we would wish to join you even in then ushering the pupils into the classroom so that maybe when we come in the first week of July, as you've mentioned, there wouldn't be a situation where uh, maybe you might tell us that some of the works delayed and as such the scheduled time had to be postponed? No, we are sure, we are sure of that. We are going to invite all of you to be part of transferring the children from the temporary structure to their main classroom. We will invite you to do that together. Like I said, we are going to invite you the first week for, I don't want to call it a commission, because this is just by the way, that um, due to lack of funds, whatever needs to be done as delay. But um, um, after fixing this, I don't think that is going to be the only thing that the assembly, the assembly wanted to do. We have a bigger picture. Um, the Anglican School have um, one high-rise building which came into existence from the former regime. And we also have a plan of bringing another one alongside. And um, then the idea of pulling whatever we are doing now down will come into force. But we want to finish the, which, the one we are trying to build before. It is not only in that school. When you go to Presby, we have put a, a 12 unit classroom there. And we are also thinking about Methodist. So we have two more to get it complete. The, those schools are the schools that we can see confidently that they have been in the system over 60 years. And that is our target. That is what we plan to do and um, that it is not only that um, we know the ICT centers of the various schools are not functioning well it is also within our plans to make sure we make them work and work well and we have started a partnership with some people which arrangement is far ahead in putting these ICT centers together. Um, you know, there is a saying that Kwan Cheng at the FN, Kwan Cheng at the FN, we are looking up to everybody who believe in what we are believing in, who can support, especially our rich peers, people who are within term who need to pay their business operating permit, supposed to pay their property taxes. Everybody should be generous and pay what, what is due to the assembly. We we'll also consult other stakeholders like the companies around. Tama is always making noise of having all the industry in Ghana. The question that comes up is what are you people getting from it? So we we'll make some appeal to some industries to come and assist so that uh, whatever we want to get to, we'll surely get there and the more people will be happy. Okay. Honorable, we are wrapping up, but your last statement has prompted me to ask a follow-up that if Tema has many industries or many corporations and you are going to appeal, but you've also then mentioned that some of the industries should do the needful to pay their taxes, the assembly should also be devising strategies to compel some of these industries because it should be obligatory it's something that they ought to do as a civic responsibility to help your your work to then improve standard of living within your area so how are you then strategizing to make them do the needful um, we have already put a lot of strategies in place we have managed to get uh, integrated revenue management system which cover almost the entire tema. So we are in the regime that nobody can hide from paying taxes. Even if you don't pay, it will be waiting for you. It is not like those days where you are able to escape this year. Then you find next year to be a new thing for you. Now, no. 
So I will take this opportunity to advise everybody that if you refuse to pay, it's still waiting for you year by year. So they should arrange rather to pay some so that together we can build them up. The assembly may be doing its best, but if these major corporations are not seen to be partners or to be partnering in complementing the efforts of the assembly, then it becomes quite worrying. So we are hoping that they will step up and support the work that the assembly is doing so that in the end we can all look back and then give credit to where credit is due. Whilst we are commending the assembly, then as well we are acknowledging the good works and efforts of these major corporations we see in Tema because yes like Honorable mentioned usually we say that Tema is the industrial city and that as well must reflect in the lives of the indigents or the residents so we know that the corporate responsibility tag we usually hear is uh, being meaningful across Tema. We end today's edition of Community Watch here. We've spoken to the Tema Mayor, the Metropolitan Chief Executive for Tema, Honorable Felix Ni Ananla, speaking to you about improving the standard of education within the metropolis with specific focus on the Tema Mahia Anglican School. Hopefully in a month's time, in the first week of July, we shall be here together with him to usher the pupils into their classroom block and to commend him and the assembly for a good work done. My name is Gabriel Prince Niobudai Atopra Atunam Togbo Ashon Kwausunu and I have been ably supported by Richard Adote Alote Rosemary Koko Anyigba as always is here with me and the rest of the team back in the office. Thanks for watching.